Aha! <laughs> Just bits of Norwich. <laughs> right. I'm going to ask you a question now. And I'm, I want you. It's, it's two. It's two jobs, and I've just done them now. It's two jobs, and I want you to tell me how you would have done it. First of all, I'll tell. I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell you what the job is. I'm more concerned about times. Now this has got to do with... If anybody... If anybody's planning on doing the uh, Transport Manager's CPC, or you've already done it, or you, you're curious to know anything about it, one part of the exam will be something like this, where, where, where they'll give you a scenario and you've got to plan the driver. Right, and you write it all down, and you know it's all. I'll start at this time, drive for so long, then have a break, and uh, and all that. But I wanted to do this because, in addition to the dry, uh, the transport manager's CPC, if you're a planner, or if you're an owner driver, and everything's on you to to get your jobs and plan your time, you're going to have to do things like this um, every, every now and again. So, what we'll do, we're going to start in the northwest, kind of Darwin, Blackburn, Burnley, Preston, Charlie area, right? And I want you to utilise your time as best as you can. And I'm just curious how you would have done it and whether or not the way you would have done it would be legal. Because if you comment below and the way you've planned it isn't legal, you might learn something. Not necessarily off me but by someone else in the comments. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave, right, you start, let's imagine you, you're starting on a clean card. So, it's the beginning of the week, you don't owe any time. You've got all your reduced rest periods available. And any extended um, driving days up got them all, all available right so what we're going to do is drive from the northwest up to Aberdeen up to Aberdeen got to be on site in Aberdeen at 7 a.m. drive I'll round it up and down to like nearest 15 minutes or 30 minutes to make it a bit easier drive is 7 hours and 15 minutes so I want to know bearing in mind you need to allocate let's say the start and the finish of your shift and this is what the, the they kind of mention on the, the driver's CPC is you need to account for maybe a 15 minute window for the driver to do his vehicle checks and paperwork so bear that might in mind as well so you've got to be on site at 7 uh, at 7 a.m. it's a seven and a half, seven hours and 15 minutes to get up there so first of all I want to know What's the latest that you can start working to get there? 
once you're on site at 7am it takes an hour to get unloaded and you've got to get your paperwork back when you're on site you get told what your return journey is going to be and that's going to be collecting out of Aberdeen 15 minutes away from where you currently are but you can't collect that till 8pm you can't arrive early on site, you've got to arrive bang on 8 o'clock to do the collection Once you've done the collection, talking slow and, and um, dull as, <laughs> as usual to try, so you can think about this or write it down. So by nine o'clock you're loaded and you're leaving. When you leave, then got to go all the way to Norwich. Now Norwich is an 11 hour and 15 minute drive away. I want to know what's the earliest I will arrive in Norwich. The place is open 24 hours, so it doesn't matter what time you get there, but I want to know what's the earliest time you can arrive in Norwich. Obviously, legally allowing for all your breaks and allowing for your, your, uh, your 15 minutes driver checks and things like that. Then once you've delivered in Norwich, that takes an hour, how much driving time will you have left in that shift? that's getting a little bit complicated and there isn't an exact answer depending on how you've worked out the rest of it so it's not an exact answer this one we'll go over it again quickly what's the earliest sorry what's the latest you can start your shift to enable you to be in Aberdeen at 7am once you've tipped to Aberdeen what's your plan of action because at 8 o'clock you've got to collect from Aberdeen and drive down to Norwich so what time will you get to Norwich think about it and then we can all argue about it in the comments can't we so the next video might be about that run and why I did it the way I did it to enable the, the, the stuff to be delivered because this is what you've got to think about sometimes sometimes you'll do you'll do a run and you'll have to push 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 I was wise and then find yourself with a load of free time. 
so it, it, it's a bit of an oddball one sometimes but that's what you've got to do sometimes just to just to get the job done and um, keep your customer happy as well as telling me the latest I can start the earliest I, I can finish or you can finish I want you to tell me what you're doing in between what mode you're on and what you're doing and all that kind of stuff you might think this is a load of nonsense but it is what uh, you're asked to do on the uh, transport manager's CPC I think I said driver's CPC earlier what I meant with the transport manager's CPC and it's something you might have to do in your line of work as a planner or as an owner driver and sometimes you need to be you know, you might be on the way to a job, you, you, you're just about on site, you get a phone call, can you do it, we need to know now. So you can't you can't sit down and get your, your pen and paper out and your calculator. You, you've got to be, you've got to, you know, you've got to be thinking on your feet and tell that customer, yeah, I know you can do it, or give us five minutes and I'll let you know, kind of thing. So you need to be able to work these out. Because you should already have the driver's hours ingrained in your head shouldn't have to keep reverting back to books and online and asking questions on Facebook unless it's a really complicated thing. If you're a new driver, you should know your hours before you even start having your lessons. Don't, don't just think you go for your lessons and, and do your driver's CPC and get taught your driver's hours. If you're going to be doing it as a job, as a career, why don't you just stick your head in a book tonight and learn about driver's hours even if you've not even arranged driving lessons yet because that's part of that's you know it's part of your job so I'm waffling again so <laughs> right let me let me know uh, let me know what you think and there might be a follow-up video with me telling you what I did and why I did it if not it'll suddenly appear in the comments one day after you lot have been arguing so we'll leave it at that. Cheerio.